So we came to Walgreens to get the picture. The camera isn't working, but the man prints the ones that I have, which I think look really nicely. But I also went to goddamn CVS and paid $20 to get them printed too. So I'm mad as hell. But the ones at CVS I can't use because my fingers are in it and everything. It's just ridiculous. So we're going to hop over to Marshall's really quickly. Bubby will allow me to because she's, she's well in it. So we'll see. coming back from outside and it's a good thing I left the air on when I was leaving because the way how I'm sweaty is not a joke. I just laundry and I already have stuff accumulating. Not really accumulating. But so went to CVS first because my 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 neighbor downstairs told me that I might my best bet might be CVS to um get the photos printed. Sweetie are you okay? CVS did print the passport size photos, but the ones that I had, it wasn't allowing me to print it, saying that it doesn't meet the standard. So I was going to print some more and I went back to Walgreens. I'm going to show you the ones that I got. Let me just take me out. Let's take me Jade out. Hi. Take your hand out, honey. She was sleeping, but I had put this cute little outfit on her because I thought we were going to, um, I thought we we're gonna have to redo the picture, but CVS don't take pictures of babies, so I had to work with what I had, and it was a whole situation. But here she is. Had to feed her. We were gonna go to Marshall's. Marshall's is temporarily closed. Gave her an ounce of milk. Oh, hi, I'm sorry. You guys, she loves me. Have to change her and wipe her down. I bathed her this morning. That was so good. Right, girl? I changed my sheet and I already had spit up on there. That was not the plan. Gotta watch those. But, um, yeah. That, let me show you guys the picture. Thank God knows I got all this stuff in here. I got pacifier holders on Amazon for her because her passy keeps falling out. She don't know where to find it. Yada yada yada, these ones are so oh, it makes noise is so cute. Probably wash these first. It's one. Oh, I know it's I'm not put this on the way. This one is a little elephant. The bunny rabbit. I definitely would have gotten the one with the bunny rabbit. I'm obsessed with bunny rabbits and I love elephants. So we have an elephant, an elephant, and a bunny rabbit. I love that. Hopefully it goes through the string, because right now I can't, I think I can't find one of her passies. I'll show you guys the pictures. So I have pictures for my other daughter too. Because I feel like it's important to always have those. <laughs> Literally obsessed with almond joy, which I bought too. So, as you know, I have this couch in the living room. Let's start there. When I went to a Raymore and Flanagan a couple of days ago and I purchased a sectional, a modular sectional. I'm gonna pop a picture here on the screen so you guys can see it. When I went and bought it, as you guys know, I, I had two pieces of this in my living room. Beautiful. It's all types of things on there right now. We're going to clean it up. So I have two pieces of those in the living room. And I had taken one apart and thrown it out because it was defective. KK. Now, um, I got... Let me sit here. So I had that one left, right? And then... I said I was going to ask my neighbor if he wanted because I remember him saying, you know, he didn't have a couch or whatever. So I asked him yesterday and he said uh, he had a lot of things in there that he would have to clear out and he doesn't really have time, but he would have loved the couch. Now, I can't hold it firm. I can't keep it firm because I don't have any space. So um, instead of throwing it out, I put it on Facebook Marketplace and I put it on this neighborhood app that I'm in and said, if anybody wants it, it's free, but they'd have to come pick it up. So far, I've seen a few people who are genuinely interested in it. There's some lady who has a child, and she's the one that I prefer because she has a child, you know, and if you want it, whatever. But I told her, you have to come pick it up between today and tomorrow, and you need help. I do not want to help to bring that couch downstairs, one. But two, I, I also have Mia, you know? 
so I can't leave to go load it up into something absolutely not. So I said, you, you would need help with you. There's another man who said that he was interested, but he's interested in picking it up tomorrow. So if I don't hear from that lady by 6 p.m. today, I'm, I'm reaching out to the man because the latest I want it gone by is tomorrow. Anyways, because if nobody was interested in it, I would have to take it apart and put outside tomorrow anyways. So we're giving her the option to come pick it up. If not... If not, it's going outside. So, what I want to do is take the pillows and everything off right now and spray it up a little bit so it smells nice. It don't smell bad, but it don't smell like nothing. So, you know, we're going to do that. This is what it looks like when it's all put together. So it's a really nice couch and that's why I didn't want to just throw it away. Had I thought about it before, I would have probably given away the first one too, but I really didn't think about it. But you know, it's really good. It looks really good. Obviously when I'm laying on it, it looks wild, but it looks really good. 